Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to this war of mine where we have just got our expert scavenger back after a bit of a mistake at the school. He got stuck behind some rubble. Fortunately he made it back without any real problems, so that's good. And starting out for this particular video, we have actually got our a visitor. Drop by. So He's, he's knocking on the door, asking for some help. So let's go ahead and say howdy doody. Hello, neighbor. What's wrong? Good day to you. Live down the street. Notice you're living in this abandoned building. Got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get to it, but under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where if you help me carry the supplies. Deal? Um. Okay, yeah. And I'm actually okay with that because Parvey, the guy who answered that, is our uh, is a good runner. He can't carry as much, but he's fast. So, you know, um, I might regret this. Ugh. Okay, Marco, let's get you checking building things because I want to try and get a grow, be, grow, grow some food if I can. Let's see, we can put down... Herbal workshop, moonstone and seals, metal rainwater collectors, traps for animals. Um, oh, we didn't get enough mech parts for that. Unfortunately. Yeah, we didn't get much of anything there. Also, this music sounds... I, I, I'm not sure what to make of this music, so I'm going to change the radio back to the classical stuff. There we go. Right. Go back to bed. And since um, our our runner has wandered off, I'm going to accept that and end the day. Because there's not much I can do. The night. Right. Um, you're all very hungry still. So Bruno needs to stand guard during the night. And Marco's going to be out going out scavenging. Sniper Junction and a small apartment building. Buildings owned by an elderly couple and their son. They are still around, somehow managing to fend off looters. They probably have supplies like food and meds, but won't be willing to share them with us. We can try to steal or take them by force. Lockpicks might come in handy. Or Sniper Junction. The city centre used to be beautiful, with parks, squares and monuments surrounded by old buildings. Unfortunately, numerous incidents of civilians shot out, of the, shot out there earned the nickname Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's very risky. I need food, though. Um, still inhabited we'd have to steal there's a huge there's a lot of stuff at the school we were at I wish I'd prepared something more but there's huge amounts of food here we if we penetrate further into the school we should be able to find some good stuff so uh, yeah we're going to go back to the school again not prepare we don't have anything to prepare so but we need mech parts we need components we need food above all else, though, so... That should still just be all lumber stuff. Yep, that's all lumber. Right, let's get up there, and this time, we're going to break through the what's left of that, um, that rubble pile that got in our way last time. Which means I'm not sure how Marco actually managed to get out of there. But we need to find the kitchens, we need to find the food. That's got to be our priority right now. Other parts would be quite nice, but... Yeah. Hopefully there's no other big rubble piles down in the place. Because I, I wasn't planning to dig through the, those two rubble piles. That's specifically why I went up to the upper floor last time I was here. But I think that's the kitchen there, actually. So I need to head that way. Hmm... Mech parts and food. Oh, there's some explosions going off in the distance. Okay, we're through. Good. We've got a clear route back to the exit now. And this one, if I recall, doesn't have anything else that I want immediately. Just some wood. Okay, so now we're back in the... Um, 
we're back in unexplored territory right now. Mechanical part? Sure. It's like uh, electronic part, rather. And then we need to go down this away. I'm just getting these little noises. Oh, mech parts. Excellent. Getting these little noises, but I think this is just rats in here, because again, there's still no sign of um, the place being occupied. What the heck is that? Uh, yeah, you can always count on friends. There's someone else here. He's gone to sleep. Just quietly sneak past him. So there is someone here. So he has some friends that are here. Oh. There are people here. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. So th there's multiple groups of survivors taking shelter here now. Don't seem to be hostile, though. Don't mind me, I'm just here taking all your stuff. That's quite, quite, yep. What's through here? Oh, there's another bar, and there's, um, I think that's some kind of... Oh, I don't know what that is. But I've not found what I'm looking for, though. I'm not running around disturbing people, though. More electronics. Okay. So there's a sleeper there who got robbed of all his food. There's someone just here. There's a couple over here. Fridge, 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 fridge. Loot it! Dull. Well, there's water. Let's take all that, actually. And we'll take some extra components as well. Doesn't make any sense. There's another sleeper. There's an old couple up there just talking with each other. Uh, I don't know if I'm stealing or just taking advantage a little bit. Um, but this this side of the school seems to be taken over by survivors. Uh, and I'm, I prepare the secret stash behind the fridge, like you asked. I already put some stuff there so you can see if it works for you. Secret stash behind the fridge. Oh, medicine. There might be some medicine up here because it's a, this is a bathroom, not a kitchen. I already passed through the kitchen, after all. Medicines and herbs and stuff. Okay, that's good. Ooh. I do feel kind of bad for what I'm doing in here. And it's locked. So there is a locked door here. Might as well say hello. Hello! Don't mind me, I'll just check your stuff. Ah, you know, they don't seem to care too much. Some stuff that's of use here, I guess. Might as well take some lumber back as well, but I'm going to check the secret stash. Behind the fridge, he said. And yep, there's a new interaction point right here. So. There's no food, though, so what's going to be a little bit of food and some moonshine? It says there's lots of food, so it must be behind that bar section there, but it says I need a blade to get through, or something like that. Let's just grab some more wood. That's, I'm fully loaded now, right? There's also these hiding spots, it seems, so I can try to sneak around. But, to get through this door, a saw blade. But it seems like there's some kind of hydroponics that back there. However, that said, I'm all done. So, I can head out. So, I need a lockpick. I need hydroponics. I don't need the shovel anymore because I've had to break through things with my bare hands. But I guess bringing a lockpick along would be a good idea. Even if it's single use. Just Okay, that, I'm past the guy that was there. And he's an idiot. 
Wait, good thing I have a saw blade. What? You don't have a saw blade. Oh, get through using using my saw. You don't have a saw blade, you idiot. What are you on about? Seriously, you, you don't have a saw blade. Do you? No, you don't. You really are just spouting nonsense. <laughs> I think there's more getting to you, Marco. You say you've got a saw blade, but you've not got one. Unless I'm mistaken, but I don't I didn't see anything that said saw blade. Whew, okay, uh, uh, oh there's someone else here. Bought bandages. Now sees that wound. Powerfully brought back goods from the aid container. Oh, some extra food and water. Someone tried to rob us. Didn't do much harm. They sold ten water. Um, we need weaponry. However, we're actually in good condition right now. What we need, though, is to start cooking some stuff up. And I'll prepare this in the kitchen. Because, you know, might as well. And I know you guys are very hungry. That's why I'm trying to get this stuff sorted out. I'm also kind of worried about the water filter too. Animal trap, which could help supply us with some rations. Make a, make, yeah, make a small trap as well. Let's just pop it... I... I guess up here? Yeah, they'll do, sure. Then we've also got things that need crowbars and stuff to get through too. But yeah, there's a lot of people that are just very tired and stuff like that. So, we can make crowbar, which will help knock through a few doors. We can actually use that here. We've got some stuff which is um, stuck for supplies. A small shovel for picking through rubble. Which, again, only requires a modest amount of stuff. Can't make the lockpick. We don't have the mech parts anymore. We can't make the knives. Don't worry, guys. I know that you need some sleep. I'm going to get, get you... I'm going to let you get some sleep. Very hungry, slightly wounded, tired. Um, let's make a little bit of lumber into some fuel, and then we can start to prepare some actual food. Though we've also got some alcohol in there as well, if required. Oh, if I had some veg, I could make... Um, I could make it using less meat. For a single one, though, we need to use meat. Oh. However, Marco is very hungry. And... Yeah, everyone's very, very hungry. I want you to go down there and check that thing. Oh, yeah, we can actually start to pry things open now. Alright, Mr. Cook, I need you to produce three meals, please. And for that we need... Oh, we actually need to put a filter in it, do we? Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Okay, you go in there. And we can actually make a filter now. So has that not been working because I've not put a filter into it? I'm guessing that's what's going on. Bruno, you go ahead and have some food. You've made that. Right, so if we go into that and... Okay, right, it is literally because... Hungry, slightly wounded, tired, go get some sleep. Um, you go and have a, have, a, have a meal. That's now working. 
I need I need another bed. Everyone's really tired, as it turns out right now. But I don't think. Well, depends how much is a bed. How much is a bed? Can I put that together? There's some food, um, a file. Oh, there's all sorts of little doodads in here. Okay, right. You go sleep. And I really did need to. I did need a filter to put into that. And you, uh, we can't make a bed. Dull. That that's difficult. I could make a comfy chair though, an armchair. <laughs> Probably not. No, you're not resting. You're checking the radio, my friend. You've got to see if there's anything new happening in this weird and wonderful world. No, nope, nothing new there. That's the music station. No, nothing still the announcement. Mass graves. More music. No, nope, that's it. Okay. So nothing new and exciting. <laughs> what I can do, though, is you still need to have your grub. So go up there and get some food. I think I need to upgrade this station again to get access to... Well, there's, there's got to be a way to grow some veg for myself. You know? Gotta be. Don't mind another helping. Well, there's no more helpings prepared, I'm afraid. So, I could upgrade this to make it more efficient, saving fuel. Probably a really good idea. But, yeah, let's see what we need to... Let's prepare our shopping list for tonight. Let's check the workbench. What do we need? We need more mech parts, wood, and regular components. We don't know about mech parts. The school has plenty of those, too. Might have, I think I might have to go somewhere dangerous, though. Oh, wait. We need the crowbar at the, at the villa, actually. So we're going to make another supply run for the villa. I'll use the lockpick here. Wait, couldn't I build a shovel? Or did I lose track of what I was doing? I can make a shovel. Yeah, make one. And then we'll see how quickly that knocks things through. Now, I'm also kind of worried about the crowbar. Let's check our things. Crowbar is... Oh, it's got a health bar on it. I've used it once so far. So it looks like it's good for three uses, at least. Hopefully I can build another one. Da, 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 da. Just listening to the music. Listening to the music. Hungry, slighted, wounded. Hungry and tired. Oh, oh, Bruno, you're actually good. You can get up. And I'll actually send Pavle to bed. Got a shovel. Oh, the, oh, look at the speed of that. So much better with the shovel. Does the shovel break, though? Yeah, the shovel's good for three uses. He is slightly wounded, though. Hmm. Okay. Right, what do we got? Please be something good. Aid, food, another file. Sorry, uh, sorry, another lockpick, rather. That's all good. Do I need to prime the trap, though? I think that's another good question. Let's double check my trap and make sure it's okay. Hungry and tired. Oh, you're just hungry now. Really? Um, oh, we need to put something into it. Let's put a tomato into it. So I do need to prime the trap, just like I need to prime the water filter. Wait, how much water do I... I've now got 12... Oh, that filter's already burned out. <sighs> right, um... Bruno, you, you go back to... Go to bed. 
try to recover a little bit. Can I make a new crowbar? I can't. We need a lot more in terms of basic components, though. Oh, and now it's night time. <laughs> right, okay. Hmm, nothing else new has appeared. We need to go here with something capable of breaking locks, so... Let's take the crowbar along. We don't need the shovel. We can get plenty of lumber here. I think that's all we need. So, yeah, just, just the crow, crowbar to knock some things open. Oh wait, there was two things here that needed it. Come on down there. Oh, I've just realised actually that it's now 20 minutes roughly, so I'm going to have to call it there. I think my crowbar's good for two uses there. So this has been Mark 3 Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. And I'll catch you all some other time. Yes, indeed. See you all later.